on Monday, from Monday. You say what? I'm going to preach at a crusade in Switzerland from Monday next week. Where are you going there? Switzerland. I say, where are you going to preach there? You are invited? I'm, in, I'm invited, yes. By who? By uh, Bishop Mbingo. Huh? Bishop Mbingo. Next time, don't, don't take those kind of invitations. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Because it's like it's for money issue. You understand? Yeah. Eh? The people you try to make money out of invitation, and it backfires on you. You understand? Yeah. Yes. Pastors, please, the moment when you are invited, the first priority must never be money. You understand? Because already you have paid yourself. And heaven didn't pay you. You understand? Eh? This issue of invitations is killing people. That's why we don't have people who are anointed now. It's a problem. Invitations and money. And now when you go and preach there, sometimes they abuse your calling. I'm afraid also for him. Where is the brother? He's a very good man, but I'm also afraid for what will happen there. The man who invited him is a man of God. But money issue. Are you hearing my brother? Amen. Eh? If you are going there, I can even advise you that if you want to see God sending you to your own crusade, when you reach there, you say, I don't want money. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You see God uh, opening doors for you. I know you have got money crisis. Amen. That's the reason why you agree this thing. But according to what I'm seeing, it goes against your calling. Are you hearing my brother? Amen. Eh? You yes. know what I'm talking about? Yes, I'm hearing eh? that. So, God loves you. I'll pray for you. Make this to be a last invitation. Okay. Then. Are you hearing me? Yes. Sir. Make it a last invitation because it won't give you what you want. That's why I can tell you, the last invitation, I did it long time ago. More than 15 years ago. I stopped invitation. Reason, because of what God told me. He showed me a problem when I reached there. And he said, how can you address this? I said, if I address it, I will kill his ministry. Are you hearing me? I just mm -hmm. said, my wife was there. I just said, you know what? Ish, there's a problem. But, of your wife. But I can't say it. So, after some years the men came and say hey, sh the same wife she's reaching me and the church is finished so how can you go and address what if you reach there you find that the pastor want to give you money is a witch what if I'm not saying I'm, I'm not referring to this one this one is called Amen. You understand? Amen. I'm just referring to the issue of invitations when you receive money, this money fight your calling. Like now, you people you have given offering here. I don't count offering. I don't know how much is that. I'm not involved with this offering issue. Because I know what offering does. Some money here are coming from criminals. Others is money that is coming from a sangoma. You don't know. The moment you receive it, you use it. You are, you are receiving what? So I've, I've got fear for you. 
You must pray so much now. Go out to bless you. There are doors that God is going to open for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I receive. Uh, where he will send you out by himself and you do the complete work. Are you hearing me? Yes, it. Not what is happening now. What is happening now is to destroy your calling. When you reach my age, you'll be finished if you do this thing. Money from people, you don't need it. You don't need it. Because it can block what God wants to give you. Money from people can even block what God wants want to give you. What you need now is not money. A strong relationship with God. You are not a big pastor because of big money and a big congregation. Your calling is not my calling. At the end, all of us will die. There were other pastors before. Where I come from, in Venda, they are very strong pastors. Very, very strong. You don't even know them. Strong pastors that I recommend. Are you hearing me? But a ministry can come to an end one day because of somebody gave you money. Some people can buy your ministry. That's what is happening to this man. Amen. That's what is happening. Now when you go there, they want what you are having. They give you money, they bought it. When you go there, you struggle, you go fasting now. I don't know if you hear me. Now they invite you again. You'll be surprised. Very soon you are doing miracles, miracles. Now you are finished. You'll be surprised very soon you will change your title. That's why you see people changing their titles. You see a person now, he was an evangelist, now he's a prophet or a pastor. But now this person is an apostle now. Now he's changed himself. He said, I'm a teacher. I'm dealing with marriage only. Because he's afraid. He can't do deliverance because he'll be a target. He knows he's empty. If we carry on this way, you're invited here. You're invited there. You're invited there. You're invited there. They will give you money, but don't ever think you didn't give them something. When somebody gives you money, he's buying it. And the moment these people are like, you know, just read the Bible. You will find what the Bible says concerning Simon the sorcerer. He offer money. It's what is happening now. The moment when you offer money, give me this. It's evil, this thing. Come here, come and preach here, whatever, whatever. You go there for money. You are finished. You are working for Satan. If now your God is your belly, you are finished. God will never be part of you. You are finished. Whether people are many or few. Hold it. Another one. What is your problem? It's you. It's huh? you. Why say it's me? I, I, ah, I, I'm doing nothing. I'm standing here. What? I'm close. Eh? Close. I must close. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I must close the same Yeah. I give glory to God. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot now. It's hot. Eh, it's hot. Satan is in trouble. Yeah. Why you say I must close? Eh? Yes. Yes. Eh? Yes. Yes. Another one. Let me see you hear another one again. To show what we are speaking, the words we speak are the spirits. So they are affecting the devil and his kingdom. You say what? What do you want me to close? Leave them. I must they leave who? Yeah. They are yours? Yeah. Why you say yeah. they are yours? I control them. Eh? I control them. You control yeah. them? Yeah. How do you yeah. control them? Listen. They eat my money. Eh? They eat my money. They eat your money. Yeah. yeah. My God. Yeah. So yeah. your money, the money yeah. belongs to you. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. So silver and gold belongs to God. <laughs> so you are claiming the money or the money belongs to you. What are you saying? I give them my money. They eat my money. They eat me. Eh? Yeah. They I eat you. Yeah. Yeah. So you are the money. Yeah. 
They eat you. Yeah, and they love me. Huh? Yeah, they love me. They love you. Yeah. What do you say they love you? I'm money. Yeah. 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 You can hear yeah. that. Yeah. You can hear that. You know. You know, you know what? Uh, I don't know how I can tell you this. To be honest, money will never cry, come to person who worship it. You will end up worshiping people who have got money. Thinking you'll get it. Many people who have got money, they are cruel. <laughs> and they will never give you money for nothing. When they give you money, it's because you have to lose your destiny. This is what devil is like. Devil is happy. The moment when they give you money, they say, okay, hold here. They say, lose your what? Your destiny. Your destiny is important. Look here, you have to function according to the function of God. What devil wants you to do is to be ordinary. You are not ordinary. You are called to change some things around you. Ordinary people, they don't change anything. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So how can you be a pastor, a Christian, a leader who can't change anything? So these are spirits they are telling you. So I believe you are learning. What are you learning? Let me, let me hear. You are learning what? I'm learning that even money can speak. Even money can speak. <laughs> Clap hands for that man. So, so Papa, I have, I've, I have another question. Yeah. How do you know that this is God who's blessing me? How do you know? Yes. How is your life before God? Okay. How, how is your life before God? Everybody knows. You see, for example, everybody here is having conscious. And this conscious speaks. You can fight it and destroy it. You can still fight it because you want money. You understand? But when you get money, don't ever think your conscience is still working. So, so if I, uh, I'm living a holy life, I'm living the way God wants me to live, and someone come to give me money. So I want to know, how would I be able to know that this is money from God or Satan? Do it like me. When someone come here, and say, I'm giving you this money. I ask him, it's for what? Thank you, sir. I'm answered. <laughs> <laughs> that question, if you ask that question, a person giving you money and you have never asked the money, eh? you say, it's for what? If the person said, no, man of God, God has touched me to give you this. Okay, because he has spoken that, you can take it. You understand? But if you just find that somebody is just giving you money for no reason, and say, I love you, you just take this, and you do like this, say, hey! So Maybe you are joining a cult now. Okay. You are joining cult now. All right. It's possible you join cult because you love money. Thank you. Thank you. All right.